Hello, there is one more module we can improve before 2025 comes to an end. Uh, and I say improve because we don't need to fix this, but there is a good improvement to do to, to the braids uh, through hole uh, module that uh, I've, uh, I and very many of you have built. Um, this came to my attention uh, by on my discord by a uh, with someone with the handle computer chemist who uh, so I think I don't think this is him on uh, github electro resonance uh, who did this project through whole braid at the DAC uh, so what the the improvement is that it goes the original braids is 16 bits. This clone uh, through whole version is 12 bits in resolution because of the of the deck used, which is a through hole deck. Uh, and this improvement then uh, uses so this is a two channel deck. So this improvement uses both channels to get up to 16 bits again and uh, if you read on the github there's a lot of stuff that is improved with this as well and the good thing is that this is the only uh, component that you need extra a one no a 10 mega ohm resistor uh, which you connect on the back here. I've pointed out these two places where you should place this in between uh, and that and then you also need a new firmware. So to get the best firmware for this uh, you go to uh, the Discord server and uh, you go to the MITH Braids channel and in the pinned section pinned messages there is this message here it is the definite version of the THT braids with a 10 mega ohm fix uh, so two versions stock 1.9 and resonance Re renaissance 1.9 you download this zip file there and you get this Thing here uh, and what I like here is that he's actually shown here exactly where we should put this resistor uh, so this is on the back side of course uh, and that this would then align with the this chip over here there and the third pin on to the out to the edge to that one yeah you see the image on the screen and then also this is what it looks like very much so there's what we're gonna change that and then you have depending on which which firmware you want the normal braids or the renaissance braids uh, and also he let's see if he wrote that yes you backported the NVRT functionality from Renaissance stock. Go into settings, turn it on, and voila, you have inverted the encoders. So depending on which encoder you have, uh, before you needed to have a special firmware, depending on if it was inverted or not, on how, how it worked. Now you can just go into the menu and choose that. So let's solder this in place. Also, I am going to exchange my... 39k resistors uh, if you look here on the github so voltage out from the mcp 4822 the out a is 39k and this one is then 10 mega ohm this in my dual pwm uh, series i did i do discuss this and that this is so it's very important that you have the correct 
that the tolerance is really small. So again, we, with 39K and 10 mega ohm is about is the same as we used in my as we used in my dual PWM with 3.9K and 1 mega ohm. So you need to have around 0.5% tolerance. So you need to be really close. And I see I have 5% resistors here. So not good at all. So just going to exchange those for at least 1% resistors. So it gets at least a little bit better. So that's what we're going to do. Change these three resistors uh, and upload the new firmware and see if we hear any difference. So I've exchanged the two 39K resistors and now I'm going to add this 10 mega ohm resistor to the back here. So it should be from pin 6 of the uh, MCP4822 counting from up here one two three four five six so the third one from the top here i've marked that with a pink dot there and then that should go to the other pink dot uh, there pointed out there there is a very good image of this in the uh, in the seven zip file as well so you should be able to figure it out from that. Let's see if we can do that. to that pin. And then we make sure it doesn't touch anything else. It has a good connection. Yep, looks good. And there we have it. Can add a bit more. So that's all the hardware part. Now let's get a new firmware onto this one. So I have this uh, pre-connected programmer here. And that one should be ground. One, two, three, four. Three, ground, yes. That's ground and that's ground. I walk through how to do this in the Beaks video, I believe, if you haven't put this uh, firmware on the STM32 before. Um, so we go into the computer, put that into the computer, and then in the computer we need to start the STM32 cube programmer. And cancel there and it is physically connected to the computer so now in this program we can do connect and it should connect to the STM32 telling us that it is an STM32 F101 102 or 103 so it's a 103 in our case and it's 128 kilobytes um, so we should go here to this one and we should browse to the uh, s we should unzip the 7z file and go into this computer chemist THT braids and choose if we want the so if you if we want the renaissance or the normal braids uh, should say that if you already have a uh, braids and just doing this to fix it you don't need to add the bootloader the bootloader is already on there and then we only need to add the uh, program file. So we load the file and we press start programming. 
it's quite quickly done and verified. So there we have our new software on it. So we place it back into the module and place it back into the modular. And it says Seesaw, so that means that we are, it's still working. Uh, let's find a transit to it. Yep, seems to work. on the sim quantization of there we go yeah I'm I'm sure I, I can't hear the difference here I'm sure there is this is an improvement with all the things said and even if it's like it's one small component one this little simple thing and just remove re, -mo re uh, reburn the the new firmware and it's done so i think it's definitely worth that little hassle to to fix it to if it's just a few percent better that's totally fine by me so again thank you to uh, computer chemist who did this and also uh the github what was his name electro resonance also for uh coming up with this uh, smart way of adding together two DACs to make a bigger DAC. Um, and again, just like the PWM, if you want to understand the, the difference between the 39K and the 10 mega ohm, why that value works, uh, I have a whole uh, discussion about uh, that. It has to do with bit values. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. And, oh. And a happy new year. And I'll see you in the next year. Uh, let's get ready for some January, maybe. Bye.